first man away from the line, the famous hand on the shoulder. Off goes John McGuinness. Now, this is not a battery Honda cam. No, it's not. It's the SMT Honda satellite team. Dean Harrison heads off now. Kawasaki down the hill, 14 degrees C, cloudy. Expected to remain dry, thankfully. And over St Ninian's crossroads there, a wheelie from Lee Johnston. Now we've got Ian Hutchinson off the line on the voice precision by Russell Racing Yamaha R6. What about that shoulder tap? Away they go, one last touch before they head into this. And here we go on the Carl Cox Motorsport machine. It's Dunlop on the Yamaha. He was fastest all during qualifying week, 126.662 miles per hour. One mile an hour faster than Harrison, but crucially over the whole lap, Cam, that's eight seconds. So Dunlop, for me, the favorite in this category. Yeah, without a doubt, the current lap record holder. And of course, he's been the fastest in the super sport class in pretty much every night of qualifying. Adino's getting very close to John now and he won't want to waste any time. He needs to get past as quickly as he can. Having a look right in behind him. Not an ideal place to try and get through. No, very technical down here through Balik Bridge. He's making his way up out of Doran's Bend towards Laurel Bank. Quite a tricky section of course. You push the front very hard here. Camber drops away. McGuinness looked like he gave him space there to me, Cam. Well, I don't know. I think he was passed before John realised, but he certainly wasted no time in pulling ground. You see the extreme lean angle. Fully committed on the way into Glen Helen. Fantastic. Through the right-hander. So Harrison then, now running first on the road. No more bikes to pass. Can get his head down and get on with it. On board now with Lee Johnson. Look at this for a camera angle as well. Oh, and McGuinness doesn't know he's there. Chops him off across. Yep, John. Well, John certainly knows he's there now because Lee has slipped on past. Well, that was close, wasn't it? Front wheel in the air and then just lifts the boot off. Is that thanks? Yeah, certainly. That's just that, you know, these two riders, good mates, off and on the track. I love, Look at I the love focus on Dean's yeah. face there. He is pushing so hard. Great as well to see just the inputs, the amount of input, the foot peg shot, the handlebar shots. It's just, it's so physical. I don't think we saw him blink there for some time. No, we didn't. OK, splits then. So up to Balaf Bridge, look, Dunlop was leading by 1.4 from Harrison. Johnston was just two tenths back. Hickman only a second off as well. So the winner from Superbike within reach. But we're now coming up to Ramsey Hairpin and we're going to get some updates on it. So Harrison, of course, first on the road. Key is going to be 1.2 back for Johnston. Whereabouts? McKean is 31 seconds down. I'm keen to see where Dunlop is. He was pushing so hard. McGuinness down on the brakes into Ramsey Hairpin. There it is. Super smooth on the SMT Honda. Oh, we've got a gaggle of bikes here. We've got Michael Dunlop, James Hillier, followed by... And Dunlop's gone quickest. 2.5 seconds up. He's 2.5 seconds up the road. It's Ian Hutchinson who's at the back of those three. So Dunlop's edged the gap out just a little bit more. With the helicopter up on that mountain section, tucked in behind the fairing, Michael Dunlop continues to push. He will know this is close. He'll have had a couple of pit boards already, but it is really close with Harrison. Oh, it certainly is as we follow Dean. Look at those lean angles committed as he comes through Keppelgate, sweeping his way down to Kate's Cottage. So good to see Keppelgate today. You just get an idea of the commitment. There are so few reference points and off the side of the road here as Dunlop now catches up behind McGuinness. Yeah, and once again, he can't waste any time in this race. He cannot waste a second. He'll want to get past John as quickly and as safely as possible. Up the left-hand side, cleanly, easily done. So, yeah, great timing for Dunlop. He's, he's caught up with him at just the right moment. On board then with Dean Harrison. Full focus. Now he's got to get the breaking point right this time. Not for traction, but for the pit lane speed limit. He'll get it down under 60 kilometres an hour. And he'll roll it up to a stop. Here we go, bringing the bike to a halt. My fuel cap's leaking. Get around the back now. So problems for Harrison then, a leak on the fuel cap, doesn't look too stressed, little sip on the drink, no time to change the visor. Come on. Problems for Lee Johnson as well, Cam. Yeah, mechanics are battling to get that fuel cap on, that's so frustrating for the rider and team alike, those seconds are crucial and they can't be wasted. Dunlop leads at the end of lap one as they exited. He had a couple of seconds over Dean Harrison, but they really haven't been separated by more than a couple of seconds the entire time. Hickman battling for a, a possible podium. 
Lee Johnson up through Sarah's. Whoa, look at that. Michael Dunlop, James Hillier, looking like they're riding tandem through Glen Helen. Dunlop is lit, isn't he? Looking for a way to dives up the inside now, just lifts a foot off and says, cheers through there, that's committed. And here's a slow motion of Dunlop just to give us an idea of how committed he is. Just small inputs to the bars, getting that bike back exactly where he wants it. The gap then, 1.5 seconds between Dunlop and Harrison as Harrison blasts up over Balliff Bridge. Hickman 6.3 down, Hillier's 1.8 off the back and Lee Johnston 6.3 back. So Johnston definitely lost a few seconds in that pit stop. As we see Dean here driving out of Ramsey. Look at the telltale rubber marks he's leaving on the tarmac. Oh, backing it into the hairpin. Harrison's on a big push. He is pushing, pushing so hard. So Todd passes McGuinness. McGuinness not going to figure at the top of the timesheets on this one, but still an absolute legend. 101 TT starts, took his 100th in the Superbike race just a couple of days ago. But what's it going to be for Dunlop? 0.1 of a second, it's just a tenth of a second in it. Harrison and Dunlop with just three quarters of a lap to go, absolutely locked in battle. Andrew, I've got absolute goosebumps. This race is on and it's coming down to the wire. Here comes Hickman. Yeah, Hickman in podium contention, so he's not lazing about either. Nice big jump back on the pipe. I and mean, he's in a race of his own here. Another potential TT podium. Yeah, well, by the way, Michael Dunlop still exiting Kate's Cottage out to the white line. He is pushing. He hasn't backed off a bit. Let's see what he does through Craigney Bar. Last lap, he literally ran the tyre over the white line. He must have been almost in the grass. Is he going to do it again? Oh, not quite. We're talking, he gave it four inches. Yeah, that is about it. A oh, super amount of commitment from both riders, these miles as they count down towards the flag. Look again, Michael, white line to white line. Dunlop has taken some incredible risks on this last lap. He's been absolutely on fire. Harrison responded at the start, but with the gap as it is, as we approach the end of the race, I don't think it's quite going to be enough. Harrison over the start finish line. What an epic fight between him and Michael Dunlop. But it is this man, Michael Dunlop, who's going to come up and cross the line to take his 20th TT win. And what an epic race it was. Every inch of the road and more. He deserves this one. We have just witnessed an absolute masterclass in Supersport TT racing. And, and a lap record. So the timing screen has just lit up. It's a lap record for Michael Dunlop to finish the job off. Takes a lap record on lap three to beat Dean Harrison by 5.6 seconds. And it's Peter Hickman who rounds out the podium. That was an epic.